Shinkansen, or Japanese bullet trains, can range in speeds from 150 to 200 miles per hour. In 1964, the Tokaido Shinkansen started operation on October 1st, 1964. This was shortly before the opening of the Tokyo Olympics. By 1992, it became the busiest bullet train line in the world, averaging 23,000 passengers in just an hour per direction. That is a lot of people moving on these train systems. The trains became super famous because they were able to get people from one location to another much faster than they could by other means of transportation. Look at this map. If you were to travel from Tokyo to Kyoto, it is 286 miles. By car, that would take you six hours. But if you were to take the bullet train, you would get there in two hours and 18 minutes. When traveling by Shinkansen, there are different types of trains or categories, which allow you to easily identify your particular train that you have a ticket for. Since you have fast, semi-fast, and local trains in almost every line, seeing the type of Shinkansen will help you know how long your travel will take. There are three classes of trains on a Shinkansen. The most ordinary class is the one that you see at the top of the screen. This is a configuration with three seats on one side and two seats on the other side. There are more seats inside of this class than any other. Because of this, the seats are a little cheaper, they are a little closer together, and they are a little smaller than they will be in the other classes. If you want to have a little more leg room or a larger chair, you would buy a ticket in the green class. If you see, the green class has two seats on one side and two seats on the other side. So there are less seats in this class. The seats are also a little more comfortable and usually have electronic reclining seats that make things a little more comfortable for the travelers. And the last is the fanciest. This is the grand class. Grand means big. So these big seats are the most luxurious and fancy seats that you can purchase. As you can see in the picture, they are one seat and two seats with one aisle in between. Because of this, there are not very many seats in the grand class. Typically, grand class will have under 20 seats in the entire class. In first class, or the grand class, you not only have more comfortable seating and more leg room, you also have access to foods like bento boxes and drinks of your choice. When buying a ticket for the Shinkansen trains, you have several ways to do it. Perhaps the easiest and most popularly used is the online reservation. You can book your train straight from your phone or computer, which makes it very easy for most travelers or people who are working. Of course, when you get to the station, you must also pick up a physical ticket to show at the counter. The other way to get a ticket is by using one of the automated ticket machines. In previous classes, we've talked about the popularness of vending machines. This is another example of a vending machine that sells tickets to the users. And then the last way to purchase your ticket is an in-person counter. If you take a look at the ticket, it may look complicated, but each of the things on the ticket is described for you in red. So it tells you where you will be arriving, where you will depart or leave from. It tells you your seat that you have reserved. If you are traveling in grand or green class, you do need to reserve your seat ahead of time. This makes things a little bit more tricky because you have to have the plan in advance. It also tells you the day, the month, the time of your arrival and departure, the train name, the train number, the car number, your seat number and row, 
and it lets you know if you are in a car that has smoking or non-smoking. Due to the convenience of time and speed, most office goers or daily workers will travel by these trains to get to their workplaces. Since most of the people use the metro trains to reach their workplace, traveling during busy hours is often very difficult. Because of this, in certain countries and cities, the countries employ professional pushers to push people inside the crowded trains. Yes, you heard me right. Authorities in certain cities and countries like Japan, China, U.S., and France use professional pushers. These people push people into crowded trains to ensure that nobody feels left out. Being a professional pusher is in addition to a list of unique jobs around the world. Japan is the country where hardworking people want to reach their job on time, and these people ensure by pushing others into trains so that nobody is late for their job. When you are finished watching this video, there are two other very quick videos that take a look at Shinkansen's in different light. This is a video from ABC News that shows the professional pushers putting passengers into the train so that they are able to get the trains moving on time. Oftentimes, if trains are late, they will have to issue a late pass to everybody who is riding on the train. Imagine when you come to school and you are tardy, you must get a tardy pass. Can you imagine giving a train pass to 23,000 people who are late? That would be very time consuming. So it is very important that they keep the trains running in an orderly fashion and get people on and off the trains as quickly and safely as possible. And let's end this lesson with a little bit of fun. Below this video, you will see a link to the Disney Mickey Mouse in Tokyo Go cartoon. It's a short cartoon, but it is a very fun way to look at the trains that we just learned about. You will see that the trains move very quickly, and if you watch closely, you might even see an example of the people pushers. Now, keep in mind that this is a cartoon, so it will not be incredibly realistic, as I'm sure that there are no sumo wrestlers or racing mice on the trains. But if you watch carefully, you might see some very, very cool things that represent Japan. You might see cherry blossoms, which we learned about earlier. And at the end of the cartoon, you perhaps will notice that there's a koi pond, a zen garden, there's also a bonsai tree. And watch right in the middle. When Mickey goes through a tunnel, you will see a little bit of a shout out to the original Mario game as he travels through the tunnel. When you are watching, watch for the very end of the show when Mickey finally gets off the train and look inside of the barn. See if you can spot the famous picture of Walt Disney. Walt Disney loved steam locomotives and you can see his picture on the wall as Mickey gets ready to go to work. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. There are so many very cool things about the railway systems in Japan. They still have some of the fastest trains in the entire world, and many people look forward to riding them each and every day.